if you just clicked on this video and were like, Ninja has an outdoor grill, the answer is yes. If you love the Ninja Foodie Grill, you're gonna be obsessed with the new Ninja Wood Fire Grill. Even if you don't own one of the Ninja Grills, this one is gonna intrigue you, in my opinion, because it's outdoor. Absolutely. It's everything that you love about the indoor grill, but with wood fire flavor, which in my opinion, is like a thousand times better. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's get right into this. The first thing we're gonna go over is overall appearance, AKA the cuteness factor. Honey, is this thing cute or not? Did you look at it? It is cute. <laughs> it has got some serious cute factor. I love the black on gray color and more importantly, the fact that this thing has that matte sleek finish. Matte isn't just one of the trends in automobiles right now. It actually, in my opinion, is trendy because let's be honest, matte hides dirt, it hides grease, it hides fingerprints, which all my grills, they're pretty nasty. I'm surprised you didn't say that you wish it came in other colors. I do wish it came. Can the gray the part not be slotted in a pink, a purple, give them an a orange? Sec. Give them a sec and this grill only just came out. Maybe they will. Super tiny, super cute grill, super lightweight. The grill is only 28 pounds, so I personally love that if you need to move it, you're not like gearing up and being like, oh, I have to move it, it's gonna be so heavy. We can easily move it all around. This thing is under 30 pounds. That is what a portable grill should weigh. Yeah, I base everything on, the, on a bag of chicken food, which is 50 pounds. So if it's under a bag of chicken food, I know I can handle it. <laughs> I base everything on the weight of my cat, little Ricky. He's 20 pounds, I can handle him, I can handle the Ninja wood fire. I was gonna say, he's also 50 pounds. He's Actually, like a he's like <laughs> 22 pounds. <laughs> also, can I just say, I love the fact that this thing has handles coming out of every direction here. I've complained about that in the past. Portable grills, yeah, they're small, but they weigh a ton and there's nowhere to grip. This thing has a handle in the front and has handles on the side. I personally find that as a total pro. I have to say though, just looking at it, I was skeptical of the tiny pellet box. I was like, what is this, a pellet box for ants? <laughs> so looks wise, I was wondering if the pellet box is gonna actually stand up to regular smokers in the fact that like, will it actually smoke food? Which brings us right on to efficiency. How does this grill perform? Honey, what did you think? In regards to the pellet box, I guarantee you some barbecue people out there are looking at that thing and literally laughing at it. Because when we first saw it, we were like, how is that a hopper? How is that gonna smoke some food? But when it comes to efficiency, this thing, that's all it needs. Yeah, it's really confusing that you literally only put about a quarter cup of pellets in there. It comes with a little scoop to make that nice and easy, but it's designed to cook food low and slow for a long period of time without having to refill it, which to me is like, I can't even understand how that happens. And the Ninja people somehow figured out how to make this magic happen. I don't get it. It's beyond me. As a grill, this thing is awesome. I have never, out of all the grills that we own here at the grill studio, seen a grill with as non-stick of a grill grate as this one is. This one, I dare you to have food stick to this grill. I feel like it's impossible. On the topic of the, gr the grill grates themselves, Instead of having to do a burn off and scrape the grates, you literally just take that, that whole sheet right out and it goes into the dishwasher. Can we just talk about that? Any grill that allows you to put a part of it into the dishwasher, that is a huge check mark in my book. Yeah, so if your concern is like getting grill bristles onto the grates, are you gonna eat them? You can just bypass that altogether because you're not using grill brushes to clean it at all. What I love about the grill grates too is that you can just swap them out. You can just take one, take it out, put it in the dishwasher, get a fresh one, and you don't have to worry about cross-contamination if you're making vegetables or things like that if you're cooking for a vegetarian. Good point. So as a grill, this thing is awesome. But as a smoker, that's what we all want to know. How does this thing perform when it comes to low and slow barbecue? I like to refer to this as a barbecue time machine because things go in and it feels like mere moments they come out and they're perfectly smoked. Did you see that chicken? Yes, and I don't know how it's happening. It's the exact, it's a very similar result to making smoked food on an offset or something like that that would take a lot more time. Somehow they figured out how to speed that process up and the results are shockingly similar. And also if you're the type of griller that's looking for a laid back, kind of like low effort experience, that's what this grill provides. It basically is a set it and forget it experience. And you're not going through as many pellets. 
So some of the other smokers, like another, other brands of pellet smokers, you have to dump in ton, tons of pellets. You might get an alert saying you have to refill those pellets if you're doing like ribs or brisket or something like that. This will use such a small amount of pellets, so it is extremely efficient on that front. This grill costs between $369 to $429, and that's American. We're in Canada, and it's not available here yet, so these are in American dollars. I wonder if we have the only two models that are here in Canada right now. I'm going to put money on it. If they do, I feel very special. I think, I don't know if there's any way to prove that, but I think we do. <laughs> so to me, I think that is extremely worth the price. And some people might be thinking, why would I buy the Ninja wood fire grill if I already own Ninja and it does all the different functions that you see on the knob, like air crisp, bake, broil, all those things. And the main difference is because you can do all those things, but with the wood fire flavor function. And to me, that is 100% worth it. Because if you were just using the regular indoor Ninja, you can't infuse flavor into anything. We all love air crisp, but what about air crisp with the wood fire flavor? I'm sorry, that's always going to be better. And now that we have this grill, I'm never not using that wood fire option. I want to wood fire everything. Wood fire creme brulee, wood fire cake, wood fire mac and cheese. The list goes on. We always like to say use wood fire flavor as an ingredient itself. I totally think it's worth the price because not only is the actual unit itself very fairly priced when it comes to the portable pellet grill market, I can't get over the fact that we've already said it, that this thing uses way less pellets than a typical pellet smoker. So it, that fact alone helps you save money when it comes to fuel. It's not just about how much does the grill cost. You have to keep in mind how much is this grill going to cost to run it. The fact that this uses very few pellets makes it an inexpensive grill, and I think that's a huge plus. I think that's a huge selling feature for people that live in condos, that live in apartments. I don't know anybody who would live in a condo or apartment that would want a grill that comes along with a giant chicken feed size bag of pellets. Where are they going to put that? This is the bag of pellets. You could put this anywhere. This looks like a, a snack bag. Like you can like reach in here and like have some like potato chips or something. But this doesn't seem like it's a bag of pellets. I, no, not at all. You could put that in your cupboard. You could put it in a closet. Moving on to happiness vibe. If you are new to our reviews, we always critique them on how happy do they make us feel? Because that's what barbecue is all about. We cook outside because it brings us joy. It makes us relax. It's soothing to us. So that's why to me, this is the most most critical part of a review. I was extremely happy using this grill. I like things that make my life easier. I like to just be able to set it, turn the different dials, make sure it's set into what I wanted to do. I love having the, all the different options. In particular, the dehydrate function, I was extremely Such excited Such a about cool it. function. Smoky dehydrated stuff, cool. I was super happy because it makes me happy knowing that this is going to open up a whole new world for people who may not necessarily have felt confident about getting into barbecue. This takes away the intimidation factor that sometimes comes with barbecue, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. People think of barbecue as this intimidating, scary thing that you need to like be focused on fuel, focused on temperature management. And yeah, those things can be difficult sometimes, but that's what makes barbecue awesome. If you are just interested in entering into this awesome hobby of barbecue, I feel like this is the place to start. And this is gonna open up a lot of people into coming into barbecue. Come on to the barbecue family. We are always looking for new members. You won't ever turn back. And to be honest, I think you could really fool a lot of people with food made on the Ninja Wood Fire compared to food made the traditional barbecue method, like low and slow on and offset, something like that. If you had a side by side, I think you could really fool a lot of people. It also makes me happy because I can also see people using this in locations that may not necessarily be able to use other types of grills. So for instance, condos, a lot of condo places don't allow for like charcoal grilling, grilling in any way. But I feel like this grill, those people could get away with it. And I can see it on balconies all across the world. Now the most important thing when using a grill, obviously, is how does a food taste that's made on the grill? Because at the end of the day, that's why we're making food for it to taste good. So honey, how did the chicken taste that we made on the Ninja Wood Fire? It was delicious. It was juicy, it was smoky, but not too smoky. This grill gives all the food that goes into it a very subtle smoky flavor. That's why we like to say this could be added to desserts in a subtle way. It would take your dessert recipes up a notch. 
So I think it was, the per to me, the perfect amount of smoky flavor. Do you feel like you could have been fooled into thinking that it was made on an offset smoker? I think I would be able to tell. I feel oh, like- Oh, here we go. I've said in the past, I feel like I can taste like what model the grill is. I don't think so. I can. So I don't know if it would fool me exactly, but it does taste delicious, and that's what it's all about. I think it would fool you. We've made tons of stuff on this grill, and I think every time, everything that we've done has turned out in a, such an incredible way like ribs, cornbread, french fries, tofu, different types of vegetables. You get the grill marks, you get the smoky flavor, therefore no one can tell. I I'm, think I can tell. Okay, honey, I think I know the answer to this. Would you use the Ninja wood fire again? I would, we've had this grill for a while. I've already used it multiple times. <laughs> I, this is one of the few grills that I want to use daily because it's so quick because you get great results on it. It's so easy to use, it's so easy to clean. No one can deny those things. So are you saying this would be a good weekday grill? I'm That's what I have. I'm saying it's a good anytime grill. Cause I know if you're busy doing something else, I don't know anybody who voluntarily wants to take more time doing stuff. Agree, that's why I refer to it as a great weekday grill. Because during the week, I come home from work, I just wanna get my grill going, I wanna get the food on the table cause I'm hungry. So I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm gonna like, it would be the first grill I'd go to on the weekend, but during the week, 100% I would use this thing. The other thing I love about this grill on the topic of it being a good weekday grill is that you don't need to let it cool down. So if you were to fire up a charcoal grill, an offset smoker, something that requires fire of any kind, you have to sit there and let make sure that it's snuffed out properly. Is it gonna cool down? Is this gonna be a hazard? Blah, blah, blah. You just don't, you don't have to do that at all with this. That's what it does, it's, it contributes to the fact that it's so fast, is that you shut it down. I think it says buy on the front. It does e it? It either says end or buy. Oh, we'll have to double check, but I think it says so like. So cute, and it's like, like bye ninja. Yeah, and I'm like bye. Bye, bye. see you tomorrow. Yeah, so I do personally like the messages. And it is so user friendly. Like it says yeah, that. Now I wanted to say hi, Maddie and Kiki. When I, I when I click on, I wanted to say that. It doesn't actually say it. Out I think loud. we need to talk to the ninja people. I would like it to say hello, Maddie and Kiki. Install and a robot voice. voice like yeah. That. Install the voice and have it call out. People can type in a personalized message. Love that. I would love that. Happy Valentine's Day. I like that. <laughs> You're making something for your loved ones. Happy anniversary, Margaret. Okay, this really went off the rails. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Barbecue Family. If you're in the market for small pellet grills, check out our review for the Traeger Ranger. For some reason, just going like that is very soothing. Like just putting my hand in here and like going like that. So oh you're, yeah. You're spilling like 90% of them. Oh, I just feel, try it, it's just so, no, no. I, you're done. You're done. Okay, ew! <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. It was near my eye! <laughs> Buddy, it was just touching my arm! It was on me! <laughs> It went in my crotch.